remake. So, um, the movie was good. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I sometimes will yell at the character even though they don't hear me because of something weird or that's wrong or that they don't understand. But yeah, let's get into it. told to, she gets not a nice room. She stays in kind of, um, not the greatest room. Very small types, tight space. So, yeah. She goes to the resort and her stepmother expects her to, uh, just help her sisters get the lead role. Which is, of course, the role of Cinderella. So, that's kind of a little bit about her. Um, of course, Tessa's father died. Um, mysteriously, we don't know how. Um, but, yes. Um, so yeah, that's about Tessa. wants to audition, but she can't really audition because, well, she's not really told to and she's not really supposed to. Um, so, she auditions with help from a friend, um, who's in our character, um, um, to audition in disguise. Um, so she goes to the audition and auditions in disguise. She starts out by singing. she eventually gets her role. Now, um, there is at one point where Reed, who is the Reed West, who is a character who plays the prince, um, where he wants to see Tessa. And, uh, as of course, the stepmother isn't happy about that. Um, so, She uh, allows Tessa to um, go, and but only on one condition: if her stepdaughters get a second chance at auditioning. So, yeah. Now we get to the climax, which is the show. So the show is going pretty well. Until it comes to a point where, um, if you remember from the original movie, where uh, the prince is looking for the mystery girl, and well, let's just say that Divine finds out, which is the evil stepmother's name, that uh, Tessa has been doing the whole entire show. Well. They live happily ever after, pretty much. 